The reason we went with Suncastle was they were local. And one of my reasons, more so than anything, was the timeline that they gave when they said that they would start the roof and then the tiles would be put on and everything would be closed up. They gave us a definite time frame and they stuck with it. They took the tile all off, put the underlayment on, had the roof sealed in within eight hours, basically the very first day. What really impressed me was the owner of the company came to the job site the very first day and introduced himself to us. Alex was great and so was the team. They were all very courteous and efficient, and everybody worked together really well. I sat on the neighbor's front porch in the afternoon and watched them working together. The guys were having fun. We had 12 people on our roof at one time during that first day. We were really, really pleasantly pleased with what Suncastle did for us. They stuck to their timeline, and they stuck to their quote. My name is Tom from Suncastle Roofing. We've been in the roofing industry for 25 years. At Suncastle Roofing, our specialties are shingle roofs, tile roofs, flat roofs, and metal roofs. We cover three counties, Charlotte County, Sarasota County, and Manatee County. Here at Suncastle Roofing, we are Master Elite Certified Roofing Contract. There's only 3% roofing contractors in the United States that receive this qualification. On the average, there's about 16 steps to do a whole roof system. And we assure every step we do is uh, by code, so we don't leave anything out when we do a high quality job. First thing we do when we get to our first project in the morning is we, we tarp around the whole house for roof debris to minimize any roof debris on the ground. After we're done tarping the grounds, we start to tear off the roof material. So once all that tile is removed, we then in turn, we strip the underlayment that is adhered down to your plywood deck. Once that is removed, we in turn start sweeping the deck down. We start nailing off your roof deck. We bring everything up to code, which is four to six inches across bottom perimeter and up and down each joist line. You'll see gentlemen in front of them changing out any negative plywood that's visibly seen. We don't install little four inch pieces. We install 12 to 16 uh, inch high pieces by two to four foot. We do that for durability and strength. Once the plywood decking is re-nailed and brought up to code, we'll then install what we call our drip edge, which forms to the slope pitch of the roof down to your front fascia. So when the roof comes down and 90 degrees down, that's what we call a fascia. That's where our drip edge covers. That's nailed up to code. We then install our peel and stick underlayment, which is an asphalt laden bottom, again, with the white fiber mesh top. What that does is any nailing that we have to top nail our, our layers of underlayment, they reseal around any nail head or screw head that penetrates down through it. That's the way they're designed. Hence the asphalt bottom and the white fiber top. We run that across the entire roof deck. When we come to conjoining the roofs of the valley, this is where we like to pride ourselves on. We're one of the companies that takes that extra step and we'll provide you with four layers of protection. We install an SAV base, which is a superior mill thickness compared to other products out there. It's 100% asphalt that conforms to the V-groove of your valley where the two roof decks come together. On top of that, we now install your tile seal underlayment, which is the white fiber again with the asphalt laden bottom. Over top of that, your tile seal underlayment's a little bit thinner width-wise and roll, so you leave the, the heavy asphalt base exposed on the edges. We then install a 26 gauge V-groove valley material, which conforms to the center of your valley, 10-foot sections cut and conform to fit from top of your valley on the other side all the way to your bottom. That is nailed to code along each side. We then in turn bring our, our decks, our side decks, into the valley. 
we 45 degree cut our underlayment over top of the nail pattern so there's no exposed penetrations. We continue the same process front, back, and sides of your home. When it comes to installing penetrations, we're going to put our underlayment down. We call, you can call it a, a counter flash material, we call it targets in the roofing world. Once that is installed, sealed top and bottom, that material is then cut tight to fit around your plumbing stacks and our dryer vent slash kitchen vent. We will then in turn install our, what we call a breather vents, which are two or four foot off ridge vent uh, for tile roofs especially, uh, allows your attic to breathe. Once that tile is installed, using screws and or foam, we'll take it all the way up to the top. We cut it tight to your valleys. We believe in leaving your valleys tight cut with just your V-channel valley metal due to the fact that you want free flowing water. If you encapsulate it like a lot of people do, you, you run the risk of water getting in there and now it's encapsulated with concrete and that water's got nowhere to go. And that will become a negative spot in your roof sooner than later. After that, we install the hip risers, which go up and down each hip line. Hip lines are where the two roofs come, your ridge line, and your hip lines, like we have two sets here, one on the garage and one on the left of the entrance. We're not the company that's gonna have you look at our product on the ground, and if you get up top, it's something completely different. Um, our guys are, are very methodical uh, with the way they do that. That's their pride and the workmanship that they're providing for you. And we offer 10 years to lifetime warranty on our workmanship. My name, Alex Dedowitz. I'm owner of Sandcastle Roofing. We protect you and your property. Just remember, no hassle with Sandcastle. Please don't hesitate to call Suncastle Roofing for your free estimate.